I want to take you now to the latest update from the site of the Surfside collapse. Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, Mayor Charles Burkett of Surfside and other officials, the police director and the fire chief are expected to speak any minute now. We're hoping to get the uh, latest uh, count on uh, deaths for, uh, that have been discovered there in the rubble there in Surfside. We see the mayor there, the mayor of Surfside is there as well. The Miami-Dade fire uh, officials are there and uh, the, the latest count right now we have uh, was uh, in uh, the Associated Press is giving us one count, but let's get the count from the mayor. Good evening, everyone. We're here approaching the end of day 13. Search and rescue continued their operation today, except they were forced to pause for a little bit about two hours earlier this afternoon because of the lightning, which is mandatory to not work during lightning, and also some gusts of wind that did go above 30 miles per hour with the tropical storm. And this is to protect the safety of our first responders. They resumed as soon as it was safe to do so, and we have a meteorologist embedded in the team right with them on the mound to provide any weather updates to make sure that they are safe. And throughout the team's ongoing hard work today, despite the rain and the other adverse conditions, we have recovered four additional victims. The number of confirmed deaths is now 36, with 29 of those identified. 191 are not, excuse me, 191 are accounted for and now 109 reports of people who are potentially unaccounted for, which we are continuing to review. As I said earlier, this list includes many reports that were received with partial or incomplete information, sometimes only a name, sometimes no uh, other identifying information, and not even a return phone number for us to follow up with the, per with the person who was reporting. Our detectives are working as hard as they can to follow up and verify each and every report so we can bring you and the world the most accurate information. I ask all of, all of you around the world who are continuing to follow this story to please keep these victims and these families in your hearts and prayers. Our Family Assistance Center is continuing to provide a great array of resources. Uh, 25 or 6 uh, agencies that are serving families are on site. They are helping people through this terrible tragedy and they are helping them to rebuild their lives and to getting back uh, on their feet. And so I'm very, very proud to tell you that they have now served 178 families at the Family Assistance Center. Today we serve 31 families, 24 agencies were on site. They provide mental health, grief counseling, financial and housing assistance, and many other resources. FEMA is one of those on site, and it's providing direct individual assistance, rental assistance for surviving families who want to stay in this area, and especially for those who have children in area schools, and we've been assured by the superintendent that they'll be able to continue to attend the schools, even if they move out of the immediate area. The SBA, the Small Business Administration, is providing disaster relief, and you'll hear a little bit more from their representative about the work that they've been doing. And we're also working with the state to streamline the process of submitting insurance claims. Very important. And through the extraordinary generosity of people all across the country and world, we've received a tremendous amount of funding to help these families. And uh, through the Support Surfside Fund, $2,500 to $5,000 for larger families has been uh, 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 distributed for immediate assistance and unmet needs. And again, we're encouraging those families who have not yet gone to the Family Assistance Center to do so, to take advantage of these very important resources. Also, I want to say that our Miami-Dade County government departments have been on the scene. They've stepped up in this, in this unique moment and they've gone above and beyond. So of course we know the men and women of our first class fire rescue team, truly the best in the world. They ran into the rubble of the collapsed building and they haven't stopped since pulling people out. Uh, and of 
course, our police department, who stood by their side, hand in glove, getting this job done. Our Community Action and Human Services Department is running the Family Assistance Center with enormous care and compassion. And we also have our Water and Sewer Department, our Transportation and Public Works Department. Our libraries are coming on board, and even our Elections Department is helping out uh, in this effort. They've been uh, driving shuttle buses to assist the Red Cross and the survivors to go uh, to the various places they need to go. And they're helping people to redo their voter registration if they've lost their voter registration cards. So I want to stress again how, how very grateful we are for all of this help from the state and from the federal government, from FEMA, who's been on site with us here from the very beginning of this disaster. And I want to borrow a phrase from Gracia Czech, who is the regional administrator for FEMA, Region 4, who has been embedded in our incident command. Gracia, where are you? That's Gracia. You've been listening to Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava give the latest update from the site of the Surfside building collapse. Unfortunately, she did confirm that four additional victims have been pulled from the rubble in the search effort today. That brings the total of those confirmed dead to 36 victims. 29 of those victims have been identified at this time. 109 people remain potentially unaccounted for, and that is how the mayor is saying it now, potentially unaccounted for because they're still working on confirming exactly how many people were actually in the building at the time of the collapse. Of course, she also talked about the fact that the weather has presented some issues as far as lightning and heavy wind gusts that have slowed things down at the search site. Yeah, and sadly, this is happening on the same day that funeral services were held for the Guara family. Uh, Marcos, his wife, Anale, and their two daughters were laid to rest today.